I will be citing the first criticism located in Novels for Students. The first criticism is always written for Novels for Students. As you can see at the bottom of the article, it says source Jeremy W. Hubble in an essay for Novels for Students. So in Noodle Tools, I will begin my citation as a database because I'm getting my information from a database. And then I will select Reference Source because this information is coming from Novels for Students. Novels for Students is considered a reference source. The name of my database. I'm going to come up to the top of the browser and click the Cite button. And then inside of this Citation Tools box, you can see that the name of the database is Gale eBooks. And it also is indicated at the top tab as well. It's listed as Gale eBooks. So I'm going to go into Noodle Tools. If I start typing in Gale, you can see it becomes a pop-up and I can just select it very quickly. Next is asking me for the URL. When I look at my Citation Tools box, it has a URL provided for me. If you have a URL in a Citation box, always use that. It is a static link and it will always get you back to this article. For most recent date of access, I'm going to just click on the word today and it will populate these three boxes. The next question is asking me who is the author of my article. For this, I need to go back down to my article once more, and I can see that Jeremy W. Hubble is my author. The article title, I am not given an article title for this article, so I'm going to use the name of my novel. Because it's the name of my novel, I must include title tags around it. So that's bracket, T-I-T-L-E, close bracket, the name of my novel, and then bracket, forward slash, T-I-T-L-E, close bracket. What this is telling Noodle Tools to do is to italicize the name of my novel. Now I need to tell them what page numbers it's on in Novels for Students. So I'm going to do this in reverse. I'm going to get my ending page first. So from the word source, I'm going to scroll up until I see a page number. I see page 17. So that tells me that this information here is on page 17, and that's my ending page. And I'm going to go up to the beginning of my article. And once I come to the beginning of my article, I'm going to scroll up once again until the first page number that I see and that will tell me what my starting page number is. Now I'm going to come down beneath this blue line that says reference source and it says contributors to the reference source as a whole. This is where I want to put my editor's name. So over here in the article once again I'm going to go back up and I'm going to click on my citation tools. I can see that I have two editors Michael L. LeBlanc and Ira Mark Milne. Make sure you use the pull-down menu under Role and select Editor. That way it will list it as an editor. Since I have two editors, I must select Add Another Contributor. Select Editor once more and put my second one, my second editor in there. Now where it says Type of Reference Source, um, we should change that to other, but if you would keep it as encyclopedia, it wouldn't be a problem. The title of that reference source, remember um, sources like magazines, books, are always italicized. And we see novels for students is italicized, so that tells us that's the name of the book that we are in. We don't have a title of a volume, but we do have a volume number, and that is indicated by the number right after VOL. We never have to put in total number of volumes. Next we're looking for the publisher. Right after the volume number we have a publisher's name of Gale. And now it's asking us for a year. 
Now notice in here it says 2001, but if I close this box and I look at the top of my article, notice it has a copyright date of 2001, but it also has a copyright date of 2007. Please use the most recent date that you see in that box. I do not have a publication city. I don't have an edition, a series name, or a series number. I will hit submit. And right here is my article. Jeremy Hubble, Atlas Shrugged. Notice how it italicized Atlas Shrugged for me. It did that because I put in my title tags.